Right, my flash went on this. I couldn't find a bulb. If anyone knows where you get bulbs from, put a link in the description. But what I did is I rescued one from a damaged D3100 and put it in. But anyway, I've already done it, but I was going to show you what, how to get into it and what I did. So I have to open the lens on this one to get the flash to pop up. What I do is I take a photo and before, the, before it recharges, let the battery drop. So hopefully now you're going to get a zap while the capacitor. Leave it up, make sure you don't shut it or you'll have to re-energise it again. I was going to take my lens off but I ain't got my lens body cap so I won't bother. So you've got two little Phillips screwdrivers, uh, screws. So they get light. They really are awkward to get to, but... In fact, I'm going to take this uh, lens off. That's a lot better. Gives you much more room. Okay, so it's coming away now, I think. There you go, we've got both screws off. So this just unclips the top cover and then you got your flash unit at the top. You need to be good at soldering, solder the two sides and the and the back piece on. Also when you refit it. Make sure you get that spring right. That clips it, that goes there, and then you clip this over. Just make sure it's. <laughs> Make sure it's springing. Right, I'm going to put the screws back in. Well, that's about all I can show you. Pretty easy to do. The old ones used to have a little mechanical switch on the side, and that always used to break. But I was hoping that I could do that on this one, but they've updated it, and you have to change the bulbs if it's gone. So, Okay, I've got the... Uh, Lens back on that, so just make sure it's still working. 